Hi guys, today or now I have, I'm on part four of the essential guide to linking your Apple calendar and reminders to your existing digital planner or templates using shortcuts. This video today is gonna to show you how to add a link to add a reminder. So when you tap on the link, it will give you this little pop-up screen and it'll say, what would you like to be reminded about? So I know what I wanna be reminded about. I'm gonna be reminded to fix the toilet because <laughs> we have an issue. Done, then it's gonna ask, what list do you wanna remind it to? Oh, add it to. So I'm gonna choose Erica list. Should there be an alert? No alert. Boom, it's on your list. I will show you what that looks like here. Oh, I do have it here. There you go, fix toilet, okay? So let's get into it. Now, again, this is part of a huge resource. We're on part four or five, I can't remember. Um, this video is um, part, you need to watch this video and also go to my website, okay, and follow along. On my website, I have all the information you need. Read this, watch this. It's in a very easy to read step-by-step -step process, but they work together. And if you're coming in because you just saw this, there's an overview video that covers everything. You need to watch that before you watch anything, okay? It is very helpful. I have so many videos, but I, you need to watch the overview before you get into these, okay? Because it'll, it'll explain everything. So um, now you have a choice with this shortcut. You can either create the shortcut yourself, okay? Or you can download it directly to your iPad, all right? But before you download it to your iPad, you need to go into settings, you need to go into shortcuts, and you need to turn on private sharing. That allows you to copy the link from my website and have it go into your iPad's shortcuts, okay? So go and do that. And we're gonna get started. So again, this shortcut is add reminder. And this is what it looks like. And then you'll tap on the three little dots and let's get into it. All of my shortcuts, I have comments written into them. The, like this is a super easy one. It gets more complicated as we get into the combinations. But um, the comment says, be sure to select your app below where it says open app. Okay, so open app. Now I've tested these in GoodNotes, Note Shelf and Notability. So we're gonna do good notes today. I have a separate video on note shelf notability and others um, that you can go to when it comes time to linking. Okay, so it says open good notes. Now you don't have to do anything else. Okay. You see the comment below, it says the link URL you will enter in your app is, and here it is. You're gonna need this link. You'll see it says name equals add reminder. This add reminder needs to match the name of your shortcut, which it does if you've downloaded it from me. However, if you're creating it yourself and you gave it a different name, you just have to make sure that this and this match, okay? So what we're gonna do now, if you're in Note Shelf Notability or something else, go watch the specific video I have for getting the links to work in those apps, okay? But we're gonna continue on here for GoodNotes. So we're gonna select this and we're gonna copy it. Oh, wait, before we do anything, right? Before we do anything, I forgot to um, say this to you. Before you take your, after you've built your link, up here is a play button, click play and it'll test it for you, okay? So test it, make sure it works the way you want it to before you go into um, your app, all right? Okay, so now we've copied the link URL. Now, I highly recommend that you have a place in your, somewhere, that you put all your links. Um, it's just for convenience, okay? You can see I have it all here. It's just so that way, after you've built the shortcut, you can just, um, you don't have to worry about it again. You can just come over here. You've already done all of the linking work and you can just use your lasso tool, copy and paste it wherever you need it to be. It's just, um, it'll save you so much time in the long run. Okay, but I'm gonna show you what you need to do. So you can come here 
uh, press and hold until you see add link. Click add link. Now in GoodNotes, uh, it says link to document. We don't wanna do that. We wanna link to the website. It automatically populates GoodNotes website. We don't want that. We wanna paste in the shortcut. Now, after you've pasted it in, be sure to hit return. If you don't hit return, it'll just automatically go back to the GoodNotes link that they um, put in for you. Okay, so now you have this link, and now we're gonna test this again just to make sure. When you tap on the link, it's gonna ask if you wanna run the shortcut. You click yes, and it does. So what would you like to be reminded about? And then you can proceed on. Now, if you wanna make it look um, better to get it into your planner or whatever, uh, what is this? This is add reminder. So um, I'll just do this one, copy. I have provided all of the icons that you see on the screen or on my website if you'd like to download them. You can use anything you want um, or you can use nothing at all. It's completely up to you. But this just makes it, I like it because it blends in nicely um, with the planners that I design. So we're just gonna come up here and I'll just put it here and there you go. So you can take it, you can put it anywhere you want you can put it up here, you can put it down here. It just doesn't matter. So now when you tap on it again, you can see it asks you if you would like to add a reminder. And you can put this anywhere you want, planner, notebook, anything, anywhere. It doesn't matter. So I hope this helped and I can't wait to see you in the next video because they're about to get a little bit more fun. So again, go to my website, you can get the icons. Um, you can also watch all the rest of the videos that I have. So I'll see you soon. Bye.